Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Kamwin, welcome to another video. Today I want to show you even more gameplay from Super JJ and Life Coach's X-Men deck because you asked me to. And uh, so this is the deck and let's get into the games. Okay, so here we play against Grand Crate. And this guy is top 300 so it should be decent. And uh, we don't want the Raider, we don't want the Mogwak. And usually we want to play the Shield Maidens in round 3. We only have one Biting Frost so we definitely should make another Mulligan. Let's get rid of these. Okay. We play our hero, so we overcome him instead. And of course, if he has a bear, um, it's better to play the hero now. So he ate probably a shield maiden. We could also play a shield maiden, uh, eat one, I mean. I'm really not sure if I want to play the Donna in this round. So we could play Fog. Actually, I think it's good. That is your brilliant move. We don't want to play Fog here. Your heart. We can't get rid of this guy, and we don't want to shackle it. So as soon as Morkvak um, goes down to six, I probably want to play Udalric. Now let's play the X-Men now. <laughs> okay, so the X-Men, um, <laughs> excuse me, will now be dead, so I can resurrect him, but uh, it doesn't really matter for us, because he's still on board and uh, we don't have Freyas anyway, and enough X-Men in hand. So this guy is now 6 deaths, and he will be 11 after he gets hit, it's actually not good. I could play the Donut and that's probably the only way to overcome unless I want to play a golden card. So it's five stats in value, it's actually more. It's better than Yeah, it's better to uh, than locking a mock mark. And we get the other red chamber circle, which is good. Now I used the Wily and uh, the Madrim for the X-Men, that's actually pretty pretty insane for us. So this round is ours probably. Oh, he has a second one. Okay. So this guy takes his deck uh, really hard against X Men. It's really insane. Very funny. The question is uh, can he overcome us with any card? So we need 10 stats. That's probably. I mean, Lucas is enough. Yeah, so I want to play the X Men. Of course, uh, Mokva gets revived anyway, so he can't pass. So 
Though he shouldn't have more answers actually against X-Men. Not a moment's pace. Maybe Mad Men Lugos. Yeah, I think it's a good pass here. It's only it's it's five to, to three cards, so we are two cards ahead. And the lesser the cards, uh, the better the advantage. So uh, ten versus nine cards is obviously not as good as five versus three. And uh, if he has to play the shield man, it's actually even better. And uh, yeah. We even kill another Mokbar. So now he can't even open pass. And that's really insane. Just one more, so we want to keep uh, the Shield Maiden or not? We only have one in our, in our deck. I'm not sure we have... We can play the Udalric anymore. Probably we can't. Yeah, let's get another spy. Okay. So uh, I think I should use something. And uh, I want to give him a Savage Spear. I don't want to give him uh, an Armor Smith into his graveyard. We place uh, the Savage Spear and. Uh, but we won't play any minions at all. We won't play these. And we won't play the first light, or at least we try to not to play. I think uh, we can play the weather now. Because uh, the, the weather will probably be useless in round 3. Or almost useless, so we should get rid of it and uh, as soon as possible. But of course I couldn't play it uh, before the Regis because we uh, wouldn't overcome in power. So he ate now. What did he eat? Another shield main? Okay. So I really want to get rid of the shield main in round 3. Uh, I really want uh, both uh, say combo in round 3 that will be insta win. So maybe... So if I play her, it's uh, 6 deaths minus 2, so it's 4. But I get 3, so 7, 7. That's actually enough, right? I did miscalculate. Yes. Yeah, the only reason why I decided uh, to play her actually was uh, because I want to keep the combo. Um, but obviously I can't. I, c I could resurrect the Raging Berserker. That would be 10. And he would be 11 uh, minus 2, so uh, 9. Yeah, I would have to spend another card. So, Aramis is useless. And I don't know if I get a Freya. If I get the Raider, it's uh, pretty bad. So. Madman Lucas is better. And he can, I can kill it. I play this one. A thousand thunder and sea devil! The goddess protects you from all evil! Have you nothing better to do? So he tries really hard to get um, to get point advantage, as he should. So we get four. Then he is at uh, forty-three. So we need eleven points. Uh, this is definitely not enough. This is definitely this. 
would, would not be enough anyways. So I guess we have to play this I one. Okay, so this is our second game. And, let's drink. and to play against rank 42. And he plays King Bran, so let's see. Of course we want to get rid of the Raiders and we want to get rid of the Morgark. So unfortunately we start. It's uh, really unfortunate. Especially in this matchup, but... Yeah. Of course we play the leader first. Just in case he has a Savage, savage Bear, then we um, gain 3 stats. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so he passed and we win the round. It's actually really weird. So I think we don't need the Freyas in this game. The question is if we pass now. If we pass now, then we go 12 to 12, actually 13 to 13, uh, in a very long round 3. And he will play something that is worse than his leader, but actually his leader is pretty, wor uh, pretty bad for him, because uh, yeah, we have the X-Men deck and Biting Frosts. The question is if we uh, should play something like a Golden card, just in case we get Renew. Or if we should play the spy. Yeah, I think uh, actually this hand is good. I'm really interested in how this plays out. So he knows what's up. Um, he obviously plays the same because he knows that if he plays uh, the three minions on his front row in, in round three, then uh, I will abuse it with my Biting Frost. He plays all geared. Okay, then. In case he plays all geared, he has to play it anyways. Death holds no surprises. So, I really want to uh, to get a maiden. I want to get renewed. I want to get to Hjalma maybe. White Frost is good. Yeah, that's really good. We have one wet to clear. So I will use it uh, once all the rows are uh, full of weather, if he plays well. Okay, so now we are 15 cards. <laughs> okay. Very good. Very interesting. For sure. He didn't play the Maiden, so he actually gave us a chance of drawing the Maiden. And uh, if he had won, then that was a really bad move. I'm eating one now. What? Ah, okay. So... <laughs> okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. But well, what can you do? <clears throat> so I can check this. I'm tending to, to kill it. He only has one target to resurrect if he has, if he plays multiple frails. And uh, then Killing it doesn't really matter, actually. So I um, prefer to shackle it or play something else like the Odalric. But I want to play the Odalric after the Madman. I can also play Biting Frost, I think this is the best. I really don't want to get him any targets. Clear 
Okay, so there's a second one. They play Hjalmar and then I start uh, putting the X-Men on board, probably. Having these minions on board is actually bad for him. Okay, so now we have a minion on board, now he gets uh, the X-Men to be buffed. And I think um, probably should, should kill one before we can't. Because if one gets just buffed by one, then we cannot kill it anymore. Let's get rid of this. Now we shackle the other one. Yeah, sure. Calm yourselves. Now he will resurrect the one. For okay, we'll feed. And we play our we play our own. We have to start uh, at some point. And we definitely should play it um, when he gets buffed over six stats. Because if he has six power, then uh, he will get uh, wrecked by Madman. Let's play this. And then of course we have to play the White Frost. I wanna play it now. And once the armor's gone I want to... Uh, really kinda want to uh, get rid of the weather. But he probably has uh, has enough, right? Oh, well, probably uh, I don't even want that. Pretty tricky, actually. Not easy. Can't play this. Um, my Freyas are. Somewhat dead. Shouldn't play this one, I think. I'm. I don't want to get uh, rid of the weather because I really think that I uh, could probably clear it because um, I think he has another one. Modern Freyr is patient. But she brooks no insult. But now I have to clear it because I lose otherwise. That is your brilliant move. Truly? Yeah, if he has another one, uh, that's really bad. Yeah, that's really bad. Really, really bad. Modern Freyr is patient, but she brooks no insult. Freyr's be the bravest. He is here. Oh, we're new. New. We don't have anything in the graveyard, right? Do we? Not sure. It's uh, really. I hope they change this feature that we can uh, get into the graveyard when we select something. So we have a new. There are... What is left? Hjalma. Ah, yeah. Sure, Hjalma. And he only played Avalax or Renews dead, so we have to get the first light. And, uh... We should have taken the first light anyways, because that's uh, the last chance. Modern Freyr is patient, but she brooks no insult. Yeah, he definitely should attack um, the, f the one in the front row. So get rid of the weather and hope that he doesn't have weather clear or and that he doesn't have any other weather. If he plays Aramancy, that's uh, really bad for us. Yeah. Also not too good. We 
really wondering what his last card is. And if I should um, play Aramanty now. Let's wait. Modern Let's wait. Is patient, but she brooks no insult. Well, that's actually pretty damn close. Yeah, we will never, we'll never know which uh, card this was. Definitely should play this one now. Doesn't really matter what we take. And uh, we win the game. Oh man, that was close. Okay, so guys. Um, as you can see, uh, the mirror is really close, but uh, of course, if you liked it, leave a like. If you want more gameplay, more content like this, uh, subscribe or leave a comment. And so what's left to say is, have a nice day and bye.